Okay. I may have did this before, but it's always good to do over reviews. So we're gonna do some over reviews of blocks you've already seen, why we do them, how you should do them. And this is for people who I can't reach and um, maybe I can't get to you right now as far as seminar wise, but you can always contact me for a seminar. So we'll take a look at Skull and, Bone, Skull and Bones, one of the most famous ones. So, um, how's a good way to get in your Skull and Bones position if you don't know how to do it? So Skull and Bones, you're always going to look at your lead hand, your rear hand. So for the lead hand Skull and Bones, it will be on the bottom. So what do I mean by that? So you can kind of fold your arms, the lead arm on the bottom, put the rear arm on the top, wrist to elbow see that wrist to elbow now if i sit back into my back leg look what happens i get a lead skull and bones and the sitting back and shifting the ua is very important but that's a whole nother dvd another time so once again from here fold on top sit back perfect skull and bones so that's the lead the lead is looking for a certain punch. The rear is looking for a different punch. So what about the rear skull and bones? Same thing. It's going to be on the bottom. The arm that's going to be blocking will be on the bottom. The elbow wise. So, rear, wrist to elbow, lean forward. Rear skull and bones. This is the blocker, this is your catcher. So you have a double system. So the elbow up, blocks, this catch, just in case and it will become the offended shot once you get off so once again lead sit back rear forward that's your point